and welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Now let's talk 2023. Um, just before we took the break, I had mentioned the Muslim rights concern has, uh, has stated that it will only support a Yoruba Muslim candidate for 2023 and no one else. Uh, we are speaking this morning with Professor Ishaka Kintola, who is a director of MURIC. Thanks for joining us, uh, Professor Akintola. All right, so let's get some clarification as to what exactly Murik is saying. Um, it is Yoruba, Muslim, or no one else. Why exactly is that the, the, the stand of Murik? Okay, do I go ahead? Yes, go ahead, please. Good. Um, <clears throat> For the past, uh, this is the question in No Yoruba has been elected as the president of this country. Uh, Yoruba have, have headed the country, but they've all been through. So we had the uh, next president, Mr. Mubasajam. He was military head of state for three or four years. Again, he was a civilian president for eight years, from 1999 to 2007. Of course, the is not Chief Ernest a Christian, so interim, sometime around August to November 1993, before General Sonia uh, took over. Again, we had uh, today now we have a Yoruba as vice. But it's also a that's Professor Yenu. We have nothing, then. they have the right to be there, and we are giving them support. But the Yoruba Muslims in the Southwest are suffering from their civil liberty, like them. Our daughters are humiliated in the school. They are forced to move their cars and be, which is important to Muslim In Britain, Muslim girls are not left and hijab. But in our own country, we cannot. And when the pressure was too much, the suffering was too much, the Muslims went to court. But Muslims don't be violent. As civilized people, the court. The court, the judicial judgment, in favor of the But the government, the Christian leaders, particularly Christian people of Nigeria, Kenya, Continue to. And we find in the Constitution, Section 38, so 1 and 2 of the 1999 uh, uh, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, empowers religious freedom, empowers religious freedom. And also the right to manifest by manifestation, you can wear dress. It's all missing. So our men and the people the in the third way know all this before the agreement. But the reality right of the denying is in A lot of other issues. Political appointment. Several Christians. Ex 
governor for the thing. Add 14, the add Pamukuna. All, all 14 were Christians. Oh. Most of the government in, in, in the South West have majority uh, uh, members of the executive. Majority chairman of both. Fayo Shea has eight board chairmen. Only one of them, and that one, chairman of the Muslim Prince Board. And of course, we have to appoint a pastor for the Muslim Board again. All right. Uh, Professor Kintola, um, yes. yeah, I, I just wanted to ask, because we, we may not have that much time to have the discussion. We may have to you know, continue it uh, you know, very likely tomorrow morning. But I, I want to ask also, um, Mirik is talking about Yoruba Muslim. Um, is Mirik also open to s supporting a Muslim from any other um, uh, part of the, of the country that also you know, can argue that hasn't had you know, any opportunities and any, you know, a fair share of governance? Um, a, a, a Muslim from the South South, from Edo State, maybe, maybe from the Southeast, is, is you know, Mirik also open to supporting any of those persons? Well, our, our contention is this the Muslim rights concern, as a human rights organization, will not oppose the uh, a Christian. The president of Nigeria, from any part of the country, Neto, Dino, Enugu, is a Christian. We don't oppose the in God or in Azura, in any man. But in Muslim, Muslims in Yoruba land, we are going for a Muslim president from the southwest, which means Nigerians are put uh, uh, a president from what? The Yoruba presidential candidate is a political party going to pick a Yoruba presidential candidate. They are employing them to pick a Muslim. If you pick a you're going to perpetuate the oppression that is on the anti that is on ground in the southwest. Oh. Imagine an imam going for uh, for international passport, and he goes there, he goes there wearing his hand, oh. and he's told this is not allowed. You have to remove your turban. Right, Professor Kintola. The cannot get the cannot get driving without removing the job. Professor Akintola, um, um, I hear your concerns, you know, and of course I've also read the uh, uh, communique and the message from uh, Murica just before, uh, sometime yesterday. Um, but I think that these are things that we'll, we would have a full discussion on. Sadly, we would have to let it go here and reschedule uh, this conversation when we have, you know, more time to break these things down, you know, uh, properly and get you to, you know, share your, your views on these concerns, you know, um, uh, more comfortably. Um, but thank you for the time that you shared with us this morning. We'll have a rescheduled uh, conversation and we wish you a very beautiful Tuesday ahead. All right. Um, well, Mirik once again says uh, they, of course, are seeking a Muslim president, well, not just a Muslim president, a Muslim, a Yoruba Muslim president in 2023. This conversation will be continued tomorrow and we would have more time and have a, an extensive discussion, uh, you know, on it. Uh, coming up next, we're moving to the southeast uh, to talk about the IPOB and the Anambra governorship elections. And that comes up next here on The Breakfast. <laughs>